Hey guys, this is Booligan with Airsoft Retreat, BooliganAirsoft.com and Airsoft Insider Magazine. Today we're going to take a look at a tiny little gun that I reviewed quite a while ago. This is the Marushin 6mm Derringer gas powered pistol. This is obviously a very tiny, tiny weapon coming in at less than half a pound that is designed to be a not even a secondary or a third line of defense. This thing basically is supposed to slip in your pocket and uh, be used only in case of emergencies on the airsoft field. You can use it for some pretty cool game scenarios, which I'll talk about in a little bit. But for now, let's go ahead and take a little bit of a closer look at this thing on the bench and see some of its features. As you can see, the Marushin Derringer functionally is a very, very simple pistol. It has very few controls consisting almost entirely of a trigger that doesn't even have a trigger guard, a hammer which you use to manually cock the gun before each shot, and a safety lever that doubles as the disassembly lever. In order to load the Marushin Derringer, you flip this lever down until it rotates towards the front. You can then swivel the barrel up, which allows you to place one BB in each barrel. There are earlier versions of the Marushin Derringer that uses a magazine type system. This does not use that system. You get two shots. You do have hop up that is fixed in each barrel that really is kind of set for uh, 0.20 gram BBs. Inside, very, very basic firing mechanism. It is not a complicated machine. Your safety switch in the top position allows you to fire the gun at the bottom, renders it safe. Now it is a single fire replica. Pulling the trigger does nothing. You have to cock the hammer first for each shot. It has a system inside that automatically switches between the barrels as you fire. So one shot will be one barrel, the next shot will be the other. There's no way to fire both BBs at once, nor is there really a way to select which barrel you're going to choose unless you really keep track. Aside from that, the gun is simply gorgeous if you look at it. It is made entirely of plastic, but it really doesn't look or feel like it. The older Marushans had a lot of seam lines on them. This is pretty much free. There are almost no seam lines really to speak of. The gun did come with some orange paint applied to the muzzle, which simply scratched off. Um, your jurisdiction may vary as far as whether that's a good idea for you to do or not. You do have very basic fixed sights, a slight notch, and a post, and the gun allows you, the design of it allows you to really get kind of a high grip on it, and you can actually aim a little bit. Being that the gun has a very limited range to about 50 feet, you're not going to be hitting a lot of targets with this thing. It's very much a backup. Your gas is filled here in the bottom, and you have enough gas capacity for several shots, so you don't need to worry about uh, gassing up between reloads gun is made in Taiwan as indicated on this marking here and there is a Marushin Industry Company limited marking on top of the barrels. Overall, feels great in your hand, the thing looks cool, and it's an interesting collector piece. I mean it's obviously not going to be the skirmish gun for everybody, but really if you're looking for a tiny little backup of a backup or if you're looking for a gun that works well in very specific scenarios, this could be a fantastic option. Something like a VIP who's supposedly unarmed, but it turns out he really has a tiny pistol on him and takes out a couple of his captors. I mean, there really are a lot of ways to use this pistol, and for 50 bucks, it's really not a bad place to start. Let's go ahead and talk about where I got it from and some of its performance. All right, now that we've seen how the Derringer works, how you load it, how you fire it, let's talk a little bit about performance. Obviously, this thing is very small. It's pretty low powered, and as such, you have very limited performance. That being said, it still shoots about 225 feet per second, which is very surprising considering it's short barrel, and it gives you about torso accurate fire to about 50 feet. Shockingly, the gun does have hop up, it is fixed hop up, and it is really designed for 0.20 gram BBs. You only have two shots out of it, so if you miss on that first one, you better hope you're good with the second one. The gun is currently available at evic.com priced at $50, which is pretty, cheap considering what you're getting. The thing looks and feels absolutely gorgeous. Do not be turned off by the fact that it is comprised almost entirely out of plastic. It really does not look or feel like it. This thing is extremely well made. Be sure to check out the full review on Booligan Airsoft and Airsoft Retreat. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.